good afternoon, Annie. We're glad to have you on the show with us today. Uh, thinking about asking you a couple of quick questions. Yeah, some questions. Mm -hmm. Is that um, good? So Annie, we, uh, we heard that you uh, used to be a nurse. In your uh, yes. Um, could, you, could you tell us a little about your nursing history? I worked with old people. That was very annoying. What I really liked was being a maternity nurse. Um, nursing can be very rewarding. You can help a lot of people. You don't know how horrible old people can be when they're sick and, and nothing you do is right. A lot of them died. An awful lot. Let's let's talk about. Um, I've heard that you like books. That that you're a, you're an avid reader. And you, you, do you have a favorite author? Yes, I do. My favorite writer is Paul Sheldon. Yes, I like Paul Sheldon. He is the writer of the Misery books. He writes the Misery novels. Uh, he. Um, Misery and Love, Misery and Friends. Well, I could name all of them, but I'm sure we don't have time. He, he's very creative, very inspired. But don't most people really read him for the steamy, steamy sex? I would not say that that was true at all. I, I believe those books are of a more romantic nature. But don't you like the term turgid? There are plenty of, of good words, words that are proper and, and can be used correctly to show when you are in a heightened state. Sometimes, in order to be perfectly descriptive, words like that uh, can be used. I mean, cockadoodie. Cockadoodie is a great word. Cockadoodie emphasizes so much about it. And, and, and perhaps instead of saying someone is a whore, which is a very good word, but also a good word would be dirty birdie. I am a fan of dirty birdie. Uh, but I really do feel that it is the uh, adventure and the romantic nature of the misery books that really makes them uh, such wonderful So you books. like the sex? Well, if you, let's say, you had the chance to meet Paul Sheldon, is there, is there any question that you would have for him in particular about his misery novels? Why is nothing good enough for him? If I met Paul Sheldon, it would just be so amazing. I would want to talk to him forever. I would want, I would, I would have so many things to ask him. I'm sure we'd just have such a fantastic, I would just want to hold him and hold him and hold him. He can be very he can be he can be very mean sometimes. So you've met him? No, no, I just I just I'm sure it would be wonderful. Uh, it's, it sounds like you've met Paul Sheldon, actually. Uh, it sounds like you have him in your basement or something. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds and this, this is just something that, you know, we hear uh, that you have an avid love of bees. And, um, you know, is, is there anything that drew you to bees? Do, do you have uh, bees at, at your house where you live? Yes, yes. I do have an apiary. They're stingy. I don't know why you would like bees. I, I don't know. But I don't bees. know why you wouldn't like bees. That's a good point. There, there's just something really rewarding about the order of a hive. I mean, they make pretty noises. And, uh... They mask a lot of things. It's harder to hear things when there's buzzing. 